What's up, beautiful people? It's your boy, Mr. Ghana Baby, right here in Ghana. And I'm safe and sound. It's day three out of the 14 days of self quarantine. As you can see, I'm in my room um, just trying to stay safe, not going anywhere. I'll be filming videos in my room, sharing my travel experiences in Africa. Sometimes I feel like I need to start writing a book before I finish the whole journeys in Africa 17 out of 54 or 55 countries I don't even know if it's 54 or 55 let me know in the comment section if you think Africa is 54 or 55 countries I, I keep on getting confused I'm in Ghana but how I got here is one of the worst travel experience ever I mean Trudy said I got stuck in South Africa yes I got stuck and stranded at the same time what really happened I mean sometimes if I share this kind of stories people think that I'm disgracing their countries people think that I'm making things up people think that yeah I always complain there's some stupid comment that I've even seen these days the guy who praised China and um, looked down on Africa I mean, what I've been doing for Africa yeah no one is paying me no one is giving me money to do all these things but uh, out of the love that I have for the continent. Yo, I went to Mozambique. My drone broke down. You can ask Bruno. My drone broke down. I couldn't fly my drone. Yet, what I saw in Mozambique, I was like, damn, Mozambique is this beautiful. I have to go and hire a drone from a Mozambican to come and use his drone to promote his own country. I paid for it this is how much i love what i do so when i go through my comment section seeing africans comparing african countries comparing that i'm from the west africa and south africa is this i get so sad to see that wow it's gonna take us a long time for us to unite but for me what i've noticed is that africans don't know each other we don't know each other at all like i get shocked when i see certain things like i won't lie to you it's not like i'm from the village i've lived in china i've visited so many african countries but sometimes when i see an african country developing or an african country rising if you see in my videos you will realize that i get super excited and sometimes i lose myself in the video i don't fake those things like <laughs> it's first impression I lose myself when I went to South Africa I was like wow South Africa is so beautiful when I went to Rwanda I had to go and sit in the gutter just to prove that wow Rwanda is this super clean when I went to Togo I saw a free Wi-Fi I had to go and sit down there and use the Wi-Fi and tell the world that even in Togo they have free Wi-Fi is everywhere this is based on personal experience no one pays me to do all these things but to me, I wish the tourism board of every African country will support this initiative and give me the chance to promote and show their various country to the world. You can check the comment section of the Mozambique video that I did. So many people are shocked to see that Mozambique is this beautiful because the tourism board of Mozambique is not doing this job. It's not promoting their own country for us to see that this is how beautiful Mozambique is. This is why Africa to the world is very important but I go through a lot to bring you guys these videos I mean anyone who gets close to me when I'm filming will know what I go through to bring you these footages for you guys will be enjoying sometimes you guys will even criticize and all that maybe someday I have to do behind the scene for you guys to see what we really go through to bring you these footages because self-hate in Africa is way too much sometimes so yeah, I don't want to complain too much. Yeah, I got stuck and stranded in South Africa. What really happened? Um, so we were in South Africa for 18 days because our visa was supposed to expire in 18 days. So we moved from South Africa to Swaziland. Immediately we landed in Swaziland, South Africa confirmed its case of the coronavirus. We stayed in Swaziland for two weeks. Immediately we left Swaziland to Mozambique. Swaziland also confirmed its first case so which means that this shit is getting real we cannot stay in Mozambique and say that hey I mean we have to film our video since Mozambique has not confirmed any case what if Mozambique have confirmed the case that we don't know so me when I went to Mozambique I was literally staying in the room all the time and just go out sneak go out film and come back 
our families were worried. Trudy's father was calling her, Evis' mom was calling him, my mom and even my YouTube mothers and my YouTube fathers. You know, like I have people on YouTube who are, I, they've taken me as their child, so I have their numbers, they call me, how are you doing, my son, and all kind of things. They were all calling me, go back home, go back home, go back home. We had to start searching for a ticket. So, luckily, I got... Um, ticket for Trudy and Elvis to go back to Kenya and I also got a ticket to go back to Ghana they bought the Ethiopian airline and I bought South African Airways when we go to the airport trust me I've never seen an airport this empty like the Mozambique airport was literally empty even the seat that I was sitting on waiting for the plane I was the only one sitting on it and there were space out like somebody would sit here and you see another person sitting over there like there's meters because it means that corona is really ruling the world right now everyone is scared i was scared um when i went into the plane no one was in the plane the plane was literally empty and uh you know what even the plane is empty what if the captain has corona so hey i had to put my gear on and <laughs> protect myself I got to South Africa. It was my third time flying into OR Tambo's airport. Third time. And I've never seen OR Tambo this empty. Like, the airport was literally empty. I was like, wow. The world is coming to an end. Literally, everyone is scared. We had to wait for our next flight for five hours. We sat at the airport. Four hours later, my flight was cancelled because South Africa confirmed 200 cases, which means that the South African Airways cannot fly into Ghana because my president said, if your country has recorded 200 cases, you cannot fly to Ghana. I love flying with South African Airways, but that day, they acted very, very unprofessional. You've cancelled our flight. Our flight was supposed to go from Johannesburg, Accra, Washington. All of us were stuck and stranded at the airport. We went to the South African Airways to ask them, our flight has been cancelled, what are we going to do to us? They told us, there is nothing we can do, sort yourselves. If a message like this is coming from the people of SA, what do we do? We had to find a way and sort ourselves out because this is what they told us. I had to check for next available flight but I was with elderly people who don't know how to book tickets online they always use agents it's agents that buys their tickets for them so they told me that hey young man you're the only scholar I mean one of them even watched my video so it's like hey I see you flying every day so you have to help us get out of here it was five o'clock during that time they told us to go to the transfer go get a ticket I checked online to book the ticket but the only payment option was pay at the airport. You cannot pay with your credit card. You cannot pay with your MasterCard. You cannot pay online. So I had to book for all of them. Like we were four in number. I booked for all of them. We waited till 8 o'clock at the transfer. The Ethiopian airline correspondent came and said, I'm so sorry. I cannot pay purchase your ticket over here you have to go to the departure it's eight o'clock the flight leaves at 11 o'clock if you have been to our tambo you know how huge that airport is we had to run i mean that was the day i realized that i even ran faster than you same boat yeah i'm not i'm not kidding like I, i'm the best runner you know but i was walking with elderly people and i told them you know what today i'm so sorry I respect all of you, but I cannot stay in here, so you all have to run. Come see elderly men and women running because we had to exit South Africa and enter South Africa again. That whole process took an hour. We got to the departures, we're supposed to purchase the ticket. Now, this lady told us that I'm so sorry, I cannot use the debit card to pay, I have to pay with cash at the airport my goodness my debit card can only withdraw five thousand i mean five thousand rands and the ticket is like seven thousand rands what am i going to do i looked left right no option 
and I saw Ragana. So I told Ragana, hey, Iman, Charlie, I'm stranded here. You gotta help me get out of here. And Iman gave me 2,000 rands. And that was the first time I saw Ghanaians helping each other, supporting each other. It was so beautiful. There was a businesswoman in there who paid for everyone over there. When they got to Ghana, everyone refunded the money to the woman. It, it was just beautiful seeing Africans uniting and helping each other because we all didn't want to stay in Johannesburg. We finally bought a ticket. It was already 10 o'clock and the flight leaves at 11. Where are our luggages? They said we should go back to the transfer to go get our luggages. We had to run again. I mean, like, you see me talking to you guys comfortably, but that day, hey, I mean, it was one of my worst traveling experience. Now, these people cannot run, so I have to take their boarding pass and all that, run myself, go to the transfer, go tell them that, hey, can you transfer our luggages from this bag, from this, our luggage from this plane to the other plane? They told us that, hey, it's okay, we're gonna do it right now. Within five minutes, they told me that they are done. Then I went to board the plane. I got to Ghana. Our luggages are not in the plane. I mean, I don't even know where my luggage is. So, South African Airways, if you're watching this video, I'm calling on you. All of us did not get our luggages. I've already filed a complaint and I'm hoping to get my luggage as soon as possible because I got my equipment charges all in that bag. When we go to Ghana, we are the last batch that entered Ghana. Ghana closed the border. We entered Ghana and then Ghana closed the border. 